Hi, I'm Sam Wilkinson, one of the EdTech consultants here at Elementary Technology, and today we're going to be demonstrating the Smart Wireless Visualizer. A visualizer is an excellent resource for any classroom because it not only saves teacher time, but it helps improve lesson delivery as well. Having a wireless visualizer gives an extra advantage because it gives us the option to take the visualizer over to desks to do some peer assessment and improve pupil confidence as well. The Smart Wireless Visualizer is very robust. It has a mechanical head and optical zoom as well, which gives us the ability to get the fine detail. I'm going to go over to my smart screen now and I'm going to show you in a little bit more detail. We're now stood in front of our smart screen and you can see the visualizer is connected directly without any wires at all. The really unique thing about the smart visualizer is it will actually sit on the board's IQ. This means you don't need a teacher desktop necessarily. However, you can still use one and we'll cover more about that a little bit later on. The software is where you get the real benefits for teaching and learning. For instance, we have a freeze frame at the bottom here so we can actually freeze on a specific piece of work that's relevant towards our lesson objective. We've got annotations here where we can actually annotate over the top. So when we bring live marking into play, it not only saves on print, but it gives us the ability to provide that front end feedback that pupils deserve. We can also jump across to a highlighter tool if needed. So for example, if you're doing adjectives and you want to highlight them, pupils can see it nice and clearly. And also the eraser tool here gives us the ability to delete annotations that we've done. So we can bring scaffolding into play as well, which helps us reduce our scaffolding load as we please. We've also got a capture option here because it's got a built-in camera so we can capture pictures for work evidence, which is very important. You can export that as you please. It will save the annotations as well for you. We've got a recording facility with audio. It's really key for recording lesson segments, saving time. So for example, if you're doing some modeling, you can record an individual segment, send it to pupils at the start of the week and they could refer back to it over the week until they improve the specific extent. We've got an area capture, so we can actually reduce cognitive overload and just capture a specific part of what we want to see underneath. And then the really helpful element here of a tiling system where if we just click on pictures that we've actually taken recently, we can have a tile system so we can see a live image at the top. We can bring things like Waggle into play where we can take a picture of an exemplary piece of work. We can then take the visualizer to pupils' desks and compare and contrast them. We can also then give the feedback that they deserve as well. So really easy and very simple to do with a time-saving element. A really useful feature as well within um, the smart board is if we jump into our whiteboard, we can also go into our board gallery and we can select a picture we've taken recently and we can embed it into our whiteboard as well. Now this gives us the ability to create a digital learning journey from that lesson. So we can actually bob this one in the top left hand corner. We could say that this is objective A from our success criteria as an example. And then we can go back into using the visualizer and we can put in objective B once we've taken a picture from our work evidence. If we're creating digital learning journeys, we've got everything we need to see how we're developing throughout the class. That's everything on the IQ side of things. I'm just going to jump over to the desktop side of things and show you a little bit more. We've now plugged the visualizer directly into our teacher desktop. There's a small dongle in the box, which allows you to connect directly to the IQ via USB. Or if you want to plug it into your teacher desktop, you would do the same via USB. It's run through an application and you can see you've got all the rich teaching and learning benefits as you would have on the IQ for the experience that you would need. As an additional extra, it also syncs directly with Smart Notebook through the icon at the top here via USB mode. This just means you can have picture in picture, so you can have a notebook lesson and a worksheet shown at the same time for relevance. So now that's the software done, let me talk a little bit more about the hardware itself. So the unit, as I mentioned before, has a mechanical head, which means we can put it into any position, which is really useful, not only for text, but for 3D objects. You can control the zoom using the buttons on the visualizer. We can zoom in and get as much finer detail as we need. We can zoom back out and we can get up to an A3 spread to a double textbook will fit fine. We've also got a lamp here if we need any extra light for brightness and a freeze frame button if we wanted to freeze like we did using the software. If you'd like to get a bit more hands-on with one and see how beneficial it could be for teaching and learning, we'd love to have you here at our Experience Centre at Elementary Technology. Alternatively, we can provide remote demonstrations so you can see for yourself how much time you can actually save. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for listening.